Hi, I'm Natasha Collins and let me talk to you a little bit about mental health. When you first start thinking that your mental health is off, you can feel like number one, you're crazy, or number two, that it's not a big enough deal for you to go and seek help. I would really recommend that if you feel like you can't cope, you're overwhelmed, you're worrying too much, you're anxious, or even if something has changed about your day-to-day -day life and how you're living and how you're feeling, start talking about it then and there. Of course, always speak to someone that you trust. Lionheart are a great help. They've helped me when I've needed to pick up the phone and speak to somebody and say, hey, I'm feeling really like things have gotten out of control. Please, can you help me? Why do I think that everybody should care about the subject of mental health because mental health is something that happens to all of us. We all have mental health and it swings. It's like a pendulum. Sometimes it's really great. Sometimes it's really bad. Sometimes you're just, just okay. And that's absolutely fine. But we need to understand that you can't always be in perfect mental health because there's different situations and circumstances that arrive that can swing it out or maybe it's just something changes within and you start feeling like ah, I can't cope with whatever these feelings are. It wasn't until I was in my mid-twenties when I started talking about that and realizing that oh my gosh I could have got help so much earlier and my mental health challenges have come back in different ways over the years. For example, when I was taking my APC, it was all about obsessively doing things all the time. I couldn't have any time off from this crazy schedule that I had introduced myself to. And any deviation from that meant that I was failing. And it was just that obsession to keep performing and keep doing this, that and the other. And that was spiraling into my burnout. So I want to communicate what helped me, for example, being kinder to myself and letting myself off the hook and just going a little bit easier on myself and starting taking into account well-being practices. I'm very resilient. I've got a lot of grit in the long term, but in the short term, when things get overwhelming, I stop being able to cope. So I have to take that step back, put things back in perspective, and then I can keep going forward. So I've learned that about myself in the last 30 years, that now I actually need to celebrate what I've done, reflect a little bit more, and believe in myself that no matter what, I have the time, I have the skill, and I have the ability to work out all of the challenges that come my way. Finally, what helped me most was definitely phoning Lionheart and starting the counselling. That was the beginning of my journey to feeling better within myself, to feeling centred, to being grounded, and that was when I started to achieve the most. I had belief in myself again that I could cope with whatever was coming my way. So that one phone call at one of the lowest points in my life when I just really thought, I don't want to be in this career, I don't want to be a surveyor, I give up with everything that I'm doing, led me to counselling with Lionheart, which completely turned everything around. So that was the turning point for me, and since I've been working on being kind to myself, celebrating myself, and keeping everything that I do in perspective, I've learned how to make sure that my mental health, for the most part, is always on track.